live and we should be live. You're live. What's going on, everybody? Rogers Base here. And this morning, I woke up and I was like, I feel like doing something Honkai Star Rail related. And as many of you know, a little while ago, I did a full live reaction compilation of every single character trailer from March 7th all the way up to, I want to say it was, whichever one was right before Topaz. I know Topaz is the first one that I want to watch on today's stream, but I forgot what the one was on the last stream. But either way, if you want to see all of my Honkai Star Rail reactions, the whole first part of all of my other reactions to all the other character trailers is linked down below. But today, we're actually going to be watching all the new character trailers that I've missed since I last recorded that video. So that video was recorded in October, right around the time we actually started playing Star Rail. Since then... I have completed the entirety of the story of Honkai Star Rail. All the main missions are now complete. There's a couple side quests I still need to do and stuff. Obviously, I'm looking forward to whatever the next big update is going to be. But I really wanted to sit down and do this video today because initially I was planning on doing these uh, character trailer compilation reaction videos once every 10 new trailers. But... Since the last time I did this character trailer reaction compilation thing, there have been a bunch of other videos that I haven't had the chance to watch yet that people have wanted me to do live reactions to that were also related to characters in Honkai Star Rail. So I felt like this would be the best opportunity to do it. So we're not just going to be doing character trailers. We're also going to be doing some of, some of the interludes as well. I know there were some music videos. There's this one that came out like five days ago. This sparkle one popped up on my feed. I'm like, I got to do a reaction to this. There's just a whole bunch of them. So we're going to get started. Right from where I said we were going to get started, we're going to start with Topaz. Now, Topaz is actually a character that if you watch any of my Star Rail content, you know this is a character I really, really, really do want in the game. But I don't think I've actually seen her full character trailer. So let's watch this first. By the way, make sure to watch the music video. It is too good. I got you. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Also, I don't think I've seen this Myriad Celestia trailer. Oh, no. I think I have actually seen this. Okay. Here we go. So we're starting here. Topaz and Numbi. This is the expert tutorial. I don't think this is the thing we need to watch, though. I think it's the Topaz character trailer. I think things are sort of out of order on the, the Honkai website. Let me open this up. Character trailers. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What? Topaz. Oh, here we go. Okay. Topaz and Numbi trailer. Expert tutorial. See, I was thinking it was called expert tutorial, and it was like a character tutorial thing. So, all right. Here we are. Seven, we're going to go all the way up. Topaz Argenti. Actually, I use her all the time, so it'll be fun to watch her trailer. Let's go. Topaz and Numbi. Here we go. 156. We're going to continue on from here in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what this one's Ladies all about. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Topaz from the special Dead Marshal Force. Now, we played her side Further mission you run, in the game the last time that we streamed here. So, give up the chase. But I don't think I've actually seen dance. her trailer for it. Still not following. Ooh. Then why not? Her? Whoa! Who Already her One. music is good. Toast to you, Topaz! Default? Ooh. And pay double. Whoa, okay, wait, 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 Debt collected. Three in negotiations. Choose ability over familiarity. <laughs> so she's Madam going, getting everybody's your money. Has been frozen. Uh oh. This is last month's bill. That's all. Because <laughs> she was doing a ton of pulls on the last banner. That's why. See here, Miss Asta. <laughs> Just swipe it. Debt collected. Four in business. <laughs> there are no permanent enemies. Run, okay. They even use the little Mario point sound effect. Run into trouble. All right, Numbi, you're up. Let's go, Numbi. So I'm assuming that's her Making actual special in the game. Special to both parties. Wouldn't you agree, Supreme Guardian? Class is over. That's all for today. See, I love her. I want her so badly. We have to pull for her next time. The stonks are up. Okay, wait. Real quick, I want to go back to this trailer though, because I missed something. When they showed Topaz and Numbi, what did it say? Right here. 
non-performing asset liquidation specialist of the, what is that? Strategic Investment Department? Topaz and Numbi. <laughs> Two, shed any and all illusions. I just think, I think it is so funny that she went and found Sampo in a trash can and it was like, all right, pay up money. <laughs> Dude, I love her. I've loved her from the first time that I saw her, but I'm very, very happy to actually have seen her character trailer now. I Obviously, I don't know when the next time she's going to be thrown on the banners, but I absolutely do want to pull for her the next time she's available. Okay, let's also see this. One more thing. I want to see if there was any other... Uh, this right here. If there was anything that I missed Your account has in been terms frozen. of on the screen when she this paused is last month's Kurt's bill. account. That's all. Chump change. What are you, Asta? See? That's also wild the way that she shuffled <laughs> And it's like, all right, I have to pay my debts. <laughs> it's crazy, man. All right, well, good work. I like Topaz and Numbi. I like this a lot. I already liked Topaz, though, so I feel like I knew I was going to like this one to begin with. Good one to start with. Okay. Now, I also kind of want to go to the main Honkai Star Rail page because if there are trailers in between that I should watch, I really want to watch them in the order that they released. So I'm going to go on over. Keeping up with Star Rail, Topaz and Numbi, Depth Optimism. Oh, okay. So this is the one that I think I watched on stream. This is how she actually plays. So we're not going to do this one. We're going to do the next trailer, which I also think we watched. Oh, no, no, no. No, we haven't seen this one. Argenti? See, I think I've seen part of this one, but I don't think I've seen Argenti. So we're going to do this one. Here we go. Chivalric Romances. I don't even think I've seen this character in the game. Maybe once or twice. Maybe it was a side quest I missed or something. I mean, I'm completely caught up, but I don't remember him at all. All right, Argenti trailer, chivalric romances. Let's go. We stand against ill repute. I like his voice. We champion our renown. Ooh. Blondly. Aquan, is that what it said? <laughs> Longingly. Devoutly. Ooh. The beauty is universal. She is within our grasp and beyond the expanse of the cosmos. Our genti of the honor clad swears to you. The beauty is eternal. Woo! The night of beauty. Of beauty? Are they that amazing? <laughs> Legend Gotta tells knock him down and peg a little bit. Deep in the stars, called the Omen of Evil. Hey, what are you up? It has scales tough as armor. Hey, leave Bob Bomb alone. Minions keen and powerful, but it has a knight spear lodged in its bones. Oh, I on the land at the end of the universe. I have to pause. For a second there, I thought he stabbed through pom-pom. I heard the sound effect, and you know what sometimes you hear a sound and it registers before you're actually seeing it on screen? I thought he pulled a Sephiroth for a second. All right, we're good. Let's continue, Argenti. Monsters, I can do that too. It seems that you also have the qualifications of a knight. But forgive me. I mean, this makes me want to play his side quest if there is one. For here, the lonely heart ways. It is my fate to cross the stars alone. My faith is unbreakable. He also looks like. Does he play like that in the game with the giant vines? I vow to make the beauty echo throughout the universe. Bro, I the style on his trailer. Till I draw my last breath. For it. I'm assuming that's just super then. What's happening? Until I see that light once more, I shall protect beauty everywhere. We shall meet again somewhere. See you again, somewhere in the universe. So, <laughs> what was he doing here again? <laughs> what? They Just rolled the credits. Of beauty passing by. Extras March seventh. Well, Trailblazer dot hung. Dude, I even love. Look at his version of the logo with the rose. Why did they go this hard for this character? I didn't even know. He is amazing. You guys are saying he's erudition and a physical AOE unit. Bro, I need to pull Argenti. How have I not even seen him before this? I, I, I want to watch this trailer one more time. The beauty is I gotta watch this trailer. She is within our grasp and beyond the expanse of the cosmos. Argenti of the honor clad swears to you. The it's beauty also, is eternal. It's also the music that they play over all the stylish effects of him doing his chivalric romances where you hear like the the hip-hop go in with the classical renditions of some of the songs and then it like when he throws the attack down and the rose vines go flying up and everyone grows flowers he is extra in the best 
possible way. I love him. Argenti, I gotta pull you. Uh, right now, see, this is bad though. Let me explain why this is bad. This is bad because I didn't go into this today thinking I was going to find other characters that I know I needed to pull. Because if you've watched my last Honkai Star Rail stream, you know I pulled Black Swan. I got Black Swan. I love Black Swan. Black Swan is the new waifu. And I know we're going to watch her character trailer a little bit later. I haven't even seen it yet. I just know that I love her based on what we've already seen in the game. She's the best. She's like literally my Lisa now. You know how Lisa is my favorite Genshin character? Black Swan is probably my favorite one. Even over Himiko, I like Black Swan that much. But Argenti? Like, I don't know if I already missed his banner. I don't know when his banner's coming back. You guys in the chat are saying that he hasn't actually had a rerun yet. But man, and Professor Alpaca is saying new characters come out so frequently that it's hard to pick and choose. I think the problem is that they make them so good in this game. Like, they make the characters so good in Star Rail that it actively makes you want to pull for them, even if you never use them. Like, I know people complain that Star Rail, you, you need certain characters to get through certain objectives. I feel like I made it through Pentacony just fine. I'm not really, I'm not really worried that I need to pull Argenti in order to get through the story. I just like him a lot. Bruh. I, yeah. You guys are saying yapping level disastrous? <laughs> I am just yapping, bro. I like Argenti. I'm sorry. I know we can keep going on other characters. I also like that he's physical, too. The only other physicals that we use right now are Natasha are and the Trailblazer. Legend tells of a lone beast deep in the stars called the Omen of Evil. Hey, it has scales tough as armor, minions keen and powerful. So he's like recording this on the Stardust Express and using all the rest of them as on extras the and they don't even know. The and what is up with the little monsters? ghost thing? I can do that too. It seems that you also have the qualifications. I love him. But forgive me. Clara and Shushong are also physical. We're here. We must part ways. Good to know. fate to cross the stars alone. Yeah, dude. He's awesome. My faith is unbreakable. It's funny. I feel the like I'm freaking out more over our Genji, even though I know I like Topaz. I vow to make the But I think it's because I've already seen a little bit of Topaz. I haven't seen it. this shot right here goes so hard I too. My last this right here, to make the where he goes from the roses to the the vines climbing up. Over here, goes and then the, the giant cape. Till ten out of ten, man. For a drilla. I need him. Uh, I gotta pull for him. What, what's happening? Until I see that light once more, I shall protect beauty everywhere. Yes. We shall indeed meet again. See you again. We will meet again on your Somewhere rerun, and I will pull for you, and I will use you. He'll be the only other male character that what I use. I use Welt, and I'm going to use Argenti. Night of beauty I also by. love, I didn't catch this the first time, that it's, I saw the credits, obviously, but I didn't see that he refers to Pom Pom as the omen of evil, bro. <laughs> Poor little Pom Pom. Being done dirty, man. This was great. Really, really great trailer. Wow. Argenti's was fire. Let me go back over here. Was there another one for Argenti that came up? Keeping up with Star Rail. Okay, so this is basically how he plays. I want to see this. I want to watch it. It's only four minutes. I want to watch it. Keeping up with the Star Knights Rail. The Knights of Beauty Argenti are made up of individuals who are used to gone. traveling through the galaxy okay. alone. They follow Adrilla's footsteps to find and protect all that is good and beautiful in the vast sea of stars. They abide by the Knights' vow, take up arms to defend beauty, and fight bloody battles like to drive out he's just as extra in the actual Today, game, too. we're introducing one such Knight of Beauty, Hard Genti. Yeah, physical erudition, okay. Uh... Aren't we here to issue a missing person notice? The opening needs to be as gorgeous as possible so that we don't lose the audience. <laughs> you can trust me on this one. We're professionals. In this episode, we were commissioned by the Astral Express to issue a missing person notice for our gentle. I also, just a little side note, I kind of love that they do all these little talk back talk show things for the Keeping Up With The Star Rail videos. I don't, I honestly don't really watch most of the Keeping Up With The Star Rail videos. I do if it's a character that I really, really want. So like, I've actually seen Topaz's already. I think if you go on my VOD channel, you could see my reaction to that when we saw how she actually played. So like, I was able to remember when we watched her character trailer, like, oh, that's her super at the end um, with the little coins and, and Numbi running. I think we also did her character trial in the game but we didn't get the chance to pull for her because at the time I was in the middle of doing a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, let's continue. 
Not long ago, Argenti helped the crew and they were in trouble. But afterward, his whereabouts became unknown. <laughs> we're on call now with Pom Pom, the conductor of the Astral Express. Also, I see Chad saying, I love Owlbert and I hope he becomes Argenti. playable somehow. Oh, How everyone, would they make an owl playable? My name playable? is Pom Pom. Uh, I would like to see that happen. I, I love next? owls. You guys well, know that. Describe our Classic and Rogers say intro whatever comes to mind. Um, I love Rowlet. Who? Red who? hair. Fire oh, Emblem's got owls. I love he owls. He said he wasn't good maybe with words. Maybe pets. Maybe they will add pets. Anything else? Hmm. He's a good person. He's a good mm, person. This description of a good red-haired guy who is not good with words is a bit vague, <laughs> so it might to. be easy to find the, the wrong The little reactions from Pom Pom are great. <laughs> but we are experts at finding people, so let me help you with the description. Argenti is a physical type character following okay. the path of erudition. He upholds his knight's honor as he relentlessly fulfills his vow to beauty. Against his spear, all forms of ugliness are doomed. When Argenti all uses his basic attack, he will doomed. do physical damage based on his attack. So he's straight up a team player enemy. member from Isn't Pokemon. So he wants rigorous. a world where everything of is course, beautiful. We are a rigorous and scientific for. program. When Argenti uses his skill, he will deal physical damage based on his attack to all enemies. All enemies. Okay, so not just three. Everybody. When Dude, Argenti I just, uses the, the his actual ultimate, visual the visual of the attack is, is here to champion the world's true beauty, wielding his spear to banish any gloom. By consuming a portion of his energy, Argenti can deal physical damage based on his attack to all enemies. After consuming physical all his energy, his Argenti attack. will deal right. a more powerful Basic blow, up. dealing physical damage to all enemies and additionally dealing damage several times to random that enemies. That just looks so cool! Do you know how long I spent cleaning this place? Uh... When With the rose petals and everything that go attack, across the screen, or ultimate, every exactly. Enemy Aaron's like, who is this character? Exactly. That's how I was watching this. I didn't know well who this was. Increasing his crit rate. I haven't seen this dude at all. This can stack. And I, I'm Argenti's caught up to the game, and I'm not seeing it. multi-target combat situations. The more enemies there are, the stronger he must have just come out at a weird After time. Using his technique, enemies in a set area are inflicted with days. Dazed enemies will not actively Dazed attack enemies. allies. Okay. When initiating combat against dazed enemies, upon entering battle, Argenti will deal physical damage to all enemies and regenerate a certain amount of energy. Let's watch a video to help everyone remember the characteristics of this knight more clearly. This was the Astral Express's coach not too long ago. At this time, Argenti was facing several huge bugs. Looks like the food here must be pretty good. They popped up out of nowhere and kept multiplying, so they must be eliminated as soon as possible. That's right. Look how Argenti first uses his skill to cause heavy damage to so all enemies. I'm curious. My, my is is his side quest on the actual uh the actual Astral Express? Like, do we actually fight these things like this in the game? Or Immediately after, Argenti uses his ultimate to destroy the enemy. Because I think for my next Star Rail stream, tricks. whenever I do it, I definitely guys said yes. The second wave will prove more challenging. Maybe, but most people are saying yes. Okay. That in here that will I have to do his quest during the next stream. Whenever Our we play Star Rail again, again my to attack four I want to do his quest. Thanks to his talent, he quickly regenerates his energy. Argenti shows no mercy and strikes with all his might. Any other thing will eventually be wiped out in the light of beauty. <laughs> That's a wrap. All right, after this round of rigorous and scientific description, the audience must have gotten a deep impression of Argenti. I did. All right, so let's let's move on. They're just going to make cute little quips and stuff. I want to see some of these other trailers. I keep accidentally clicking on my playlist trailer. I guess this is a good opportunity to say, if you are looking for my other Honkai Star Rail videos, I have a whole playlist made up of all of them. All my reactions, my playthrough so far, everything. You can check this out. I'll probably link it on my main page after the stream is over so you guys can actually find it. And uh, man, also, what the heck? 220,000 views for the first version of this? Well, I'm glad I'm doing a second one. All right, that's great. Let us continue with, let me go back, Argenti. So the next one is uh, Ho Ho. I, I don't I actually know how you say her name. I'm sure they're going to say her name in the trailer. But I call her Ho Ho. I use her all the time in the game. She's fantastic. She's my main support character. But I don't think I've actually watched her full trailer. I think, again, we watched her character demo or something. But we didn't watch her trailer. Maybe we did. We're going to find out as we're watching through this. I'll let you know if I've seen this already. Let's go. Quo uh, Quo is how you say it. Maybe the I chat. should just resign. Oh, it won't matter if I'm gone anyway. Oh, we have seen this. With Gwen. That's right, that's right. Where the ghost dog takes over. I'll watch it again. It's a good trailer. Uh, you scared me. Oh, 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 oh,
you notice too? The way your little hair popped up. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. This is how the second I heard the bass drop the bow, 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 da, 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 I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. We have seen this. It's a good trailer. Let's watch it again. I don't mind. Uh. Also, the music doesn't really match with her, but in a weird way, also kind of does. Because it reminds me of Wu Tao, where it's got the, the little bit of a hip hop beat to it. With the classic instruments. I'll see if there's anyone. Hello, anybody? Anybody? Run, run, run. That's all you know. I wasn't calling you guys. I also love, too, all these little pixel effects coming off of this. For so some reason, I don't remember this the first time I watched this. And this is obviously when you use her super and the little dog comes out. And she's fully possessed. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Suddenly they're all scared of this poor girl. Spirits, I know my name. They're also, there seems to be a theme in all of these trailers with ugliness and wiping out ugliness. <laughs> this world of beauty. I don't know if her and Argenti are friends. But... She is very, very good in the game though. Most of you have seen my playthrough know I use her all the time. I I'd better write my resignation quickly. <laughs> Mr. Teal, uh, why do I feel like I've forgotten something important? You talking about that little Poor Gwen. girl? Oh. <laughs> I also just noticed, um, because I, I called this out during Argenti's trailer. I also just noticed here too, are they doing character specific versions for all the character trailers and I just have missed them on other occasions? Cause or have they just recently started doing this? Are they going to continue doing this in future trailers? I guess we're going to find out. How have I not noticed that before? All right. This one is uh, In All Does Life Flow. Ruan Mai. Okay, let's see this. Oh, I actually haven't seen. See, this is the fun thing about this one this time around. I play with Dr. Ratio. I play with Black Swan. I play with Wo Huo. So I feel like seeing their actual trailers now, after I've already played with them in the game, is actually kind of fun. I feel like it was the reverse last time. Last time, I was seeing the characters for the first time in the character trailers and then picking out who I wanted to pull. But now, because I've played through the game, now I'm like, okay. Let's see more of them in action. Also, you guys are saying, uh, this is Mother. Ron Mai is Mother. If you haven't done Ron Mai's quest yet, you definitely have to do it. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Ron Mai. Her trailer is called An All Does Life Flow. Let's see this. The soft wind beckons the early spring. A joyous mood does it bring. I like the calming nature of her trailer. Very nice. A plum blossom in a mess. Where is the home I miss? Only remember very in drunken bliss. Oh, looks like it's tea time. Without accelerating or postponing the arrival of death, wow. life will always wither. Ooh. A never ending cycle of melodies. I love her Where instrument too with the little cherry blossoms on it. What's up with the DNA strand? Who are these guys? <laughs> Sometimes waiting around is also a change. You two's lab? Uh. Who and what exactly are you, Mother uh, Juan Mai? The results are beyond my expectations. So she's like Every a evil scientist. Every life's garden. Sakura we need a day blossom when loving it is torn away. Guitar player? By the wind's call. Or Seamus, I guess. You still hold academic value. Mm, that was kind of scary. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I love her version of the logo too with the... The Sakura Blossom's coming off of it in the branch. She's part of the Genius Society. The instrument she plays is called um, a Huan, 
hence her name. Oh, interesting. She's a bioscientist and a genius who literally creates life. Okay, I also feel like I have to play her side quest now. This is, see, this is the issue. Whenever I do these Honkai reaction streams, the issue is that it gives me more things that I have to play. And unfortunately, right now my focus is on Rebirth. I have been streaming Final Fantasy VII Rebirth every single day on Twitch for the past week and a half. And I'm so close to, well, I'm not close to the end. I'm on chapter 10 right now as of this recording. But like, I got to get through that so I don't get spoiled. And then Unicorn Overlord, I want to play more of that. But I also want to play more of Star Rail. And I feel like her quest would be really interesting in addition to Argenti's quest. There's a huge event based around her and her creating creatures. I think you would enjoy it. I got to check it out. Also, make sure to watch her Myriad Celestia trailer. I'm on it. Let's go. I want to know more about her. I'm intrigued. I like her. Myriad Celestia trailer, Transcendent Ron Tunes, Blushing May Blossoms. Or Blushing May... Blah, why can't I speak? <laughs> Blushing May Blooms. Okay. Let's see this. 1.1 million views. Okay. Let's go. Transcendent. Mother, your letters are always welcome. The plum blossoms bloom and wither. Oh, they're plum and blossoms. I occasionally Excuse me for being ignorant. I said sakura blossoms earlier. I once again am thinking back to the research in my childhood. Together with you in no man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. Interesting. She, I mean, that reminds me of Shulk a little bit. I understood the fastness he of the Xenoblade universe. He played where his parents were like. Okay. I was different than every other kid. I love, by the way. Sorry to pause in the middle of it. I also love the art style of this trailer. Absolutely gorgeous. Like the watercolor and everything that they're using. By the way, Roger, don't worry, these events aren't limited. Star Rail does a cool thing where you can play past events even if you miss them while they were active. Say less. We'll do both of them. It's waking up! Birth, growth, death. Wow. Lamenting the process wow. of life is the origin of my thinking. It's wild to think some of these trailers, this is for a video game. I began gorgeous. to realize Absolutely that I gorgeous. longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular Also, cortex. like, now that I'm looking at her more, might be a top five Honkai Star Rail girl. Might just be. Hair is very cute. Outfit's on point. I love the little DNA strand garter. I like her design. I'm liking her story so far. She is an absolute win right now. Which can She's smart. anxiety and pain. The laws of emotion can be easily broken down. Children will become more well-behaved when they receive random rewards. Gorgeous. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, Hi. I began to feel <laughs> empty. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? <laughs> what? I increasingly understand that I long for more fundamental research. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. So is she thoughts. basically a god then? At first, I was terrified she's cultivating of planets of life. It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had when I was a child. So this is why you guys called her mother then. She literally is mother. She creates life. Where does the research end? Bro, and the music going hard too. Life is so colorful, but it has nothing to do with me. Gorgeous. I explore the mysteries of the universe and seek deeper answers. I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain. If life is cultivated and reproduced, you can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce permanence. I will understand life and touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I, too, can become an evil. How- it, she's gotta be OP in the game. So she literally wants to become an Aeon, then. Also, what is this? She's watching the, the combat? Not, my dear assistant. Huh? I will reward you. 
Chad is saying she's an absolutely busted Harmony unit. Incredibly OP. The most OP support in the entire game right now. Wow. Okay, so we need her then. Is what you guys are telling me. We absolutely need to pull for her then. Okay, you got it. Run my... You're on my pull list. You and Argenti. All right, now who's next? Dr. Ratio? Is Dr. Ratio next? Now, I actually have not seen his trailer. He came out right when I started playing. I think it was I finished the second world. I finished the second world, got to that amazing boss battle at the end, found out about the truth about Don Hung. And then he came out right at that point. So I kind of missed his trailer. But then I got him when I logged in because he came out over like the winter break. And so I logged in, I got the character. And now I use Dr. Ratio all the time. I love his little, his special where he turns it and then he drops the Tower of Pisa on him. But I haven't seen his trailer. So let's watch his trailer. Dr. Ratio trailer, Supreme Idiocy. Okay. That's me on Twitter. Knowledge Supreme is as vast as the universe itself. Okay, and also, within the intelligence the music guild, there expecting. is a figure, exceptional, maverick, luminary, whose every action radiates a quiet grandeur. Ignorance is a malady that must be cured. Council, wait, 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 let me go back. Wait, wait. And the Ele intelligentsia guild. This is a malady. Council of Mundanites. Okay. Ignorance is a malady that must be cured. Got it. Let's get it. must be cured. I am Veritas Ratio, Veritas a scholar is and educator. Should your mind exhibit symptoms of dullness, <laughs> feel free to give the doctor a call. <laughs> I also just really like his vibe too. I like the little you learn to know yourself around his head before your enemy. His music but is it can also still great. The marble statue. Zero points, zero points. Next. Is that all? <laughs> Not that. Five points. So who is this poor little spirit he's going after this? Oh, never mind. Copying others. Also, wow. Proved results. The way the vocals Let's were spelling? Test your knowledge. No need to rush. Patience breeds success. See, this is what I'm used to in the game. <laughs> that little thing. Just as my calculations predicted. An interesting test of intellect. Also, of all the things they could have done with Dr. Ratio's version of the Honkai Star Rail logo, I think it is absolutely absurd that they do the bubbles with the duck in it instead of, like, numbers or a graph or something all over the place. They're like, nah, nah, nah let's just reference the bubble bath scene. <laughs> like, what? By the way, Roger, he and Topaz also work very, very well together. That is good considering the fact my Dr. Ratio... I want to say is one of my strongest characters in the game right now. I'm pretty sure he's max leveled to the highest level that we can get him currently. Um, obviously, I have to still boost up my Trailblazer level. I got to do more side quests. But I think for where we are in the game right now, he is one of my strongest. Trinity says W plus ratio. You're going to find out about uh, more about him and that spirit in his story quest. Again, gives me a really good reason to check this stuff out. By the way, Roger, please watch Night of Everflame and the version 2.0 music video, White Knight. White Knight is on the agenda today. We are going to be watching White Knight. I've heard a lot of people say, make sure to check that out. Uh, Myriad Celestia, A Night of Everflame. Is that the next one that's on the list? Let's see, we got Ruan Mai. Obviously, Black Swan is coming up next. Black Swan, I absolutely love in the game. I'm excited to see her trailer. Um, I don't know why it says that it's already been watched when I definitely have not seen hers yet. I was saving it for a stream. Sparkles also says halfway through, so I don't know. Maybe it autoplayed or something in the background. Let's go back real quick. Dr. Ratio. Which one is next up? Oh, this is it. Night of Everflame. Oh, well, great. All right, so this is next on the list. So whoever just suggested that, congratulations. You're about to get your wish. 1.9 million views. Myriad Celestia, A Night of Everflame, scene 33. Okay. And that was also incredibly loud. Now, I wonder if having now played through Pentacony, if I'm going to pick up on stuff in this one, 
that I haven't already seen. Let's see this. Night of Everflame, scene 33. Holy planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams. Oh yeah, who are these people that coward me? The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. The bone and blood will flow from the destruction as an offering to them. You got a giant Satan goat that he's summoning out of? This marks your right of passage. I assume they're evil. Gosh, I lit the fire in your oh, eyes yeah, gosh, and showed you, you music of the strings. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will kind of be done, Father. Dura, I set your form alight and taught you Mastery of Why is there the a spine in the apple? Temper it with sulfur, made the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the oh, abyss. Oh, so that ties you into wish, Father. her death. Katerina, I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. I feel like this is a giant lore drop video. There is stuff, <laughs> yeah, I see Momo saying your apples don't have spines, not the apples I eat, no. I, clearly, there is stuff going on here that I still didn't even pick up on having played through the game. This seems like important lore along the lines of when we see the Fatui trailers when we uh, when we like watch the Genshin trailers. This seems like a Fatui type thing. This is the equivalent of the Harbinger group. Okay, let's see this. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our sanctum. I mean, they seem scary. You got it, old man. You got it, old man. And Constance at last. My most ambitious and So they're teasing a bunch of future child. villains then. Constance? There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. Now we haven't seen, I don't think, any of them yet. Who is this? She won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Who is this? Katarina, a little pessimism, my dear. That's Katarina? What if we all. Also, what is up with her legs? She won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Please, 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 please tell me she is playable. Please. Can I pull her in the future? Spoil me, chat. I don't care. Let me know if she's on a future banner. I want to know. I need to know. Ghost Rider girl? She is awesome. I need to pull her. Chat's going, we also don't know yet. Well, we better find out. Hoyoverse, you better tell me quick so I can start saving up. Katarina, a little I love her. might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Okay, she's scary. Since when have so these are essentially like the destruction of Star Rail? I like this guy too with the cello. Still, it is wise to plan ahead. Scary little nun girl? Oh, creepy. All right, she's the puppeteer. What is our fallback? Oh, if things oh, wait, what? Chaos? Fall back. The thing Such behind her is controlling her. It's like a Resident Evil villain right there. Destruction is brave and heroic to clean their musical theme, dude. Cowardice. Relish Pentecone's sea for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. Fedora? What a it's shot right there of all of them. Duke Inferno, Everflame, Mancha. Okay, so... Oh, I like their version of the logo too. One thing I want to say, I now understand why people were freaking out in my live chat when they mentioned Duke Inferno. Because I played through the story and I'm like, why should I care about this Duke Inferno guy they keep talking about and that they're, he's so scary? This is him. This is the guy. So I feel like I should have watched this before I played the Pentacony stuff. I probably made a huge mistake in not watching this first. But also I'm kind of happy that I didn't because then I would have been disappointed if we didn't actually see Katarina in what we played. Wow, okay. I am very intrigued with their story. I don't know what the heck is going on with the puppeteer girl. I love the cello guy. Katarina is obviously the best. 
the other girl with the big hat kind of reminds me of Lady Demetresk a little bit. They're actually giving me heavy Resident Evil vibes, which specifically Resident Evil Village. That's the one that's got the puppet girl. That's the one that's got Lady Demetresk or whatever her name is, Lady D. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wonder if the cello player is gonna come into play during the stuff in Pentaconi as well that we played through. Well, the stuff that's coming up, I guess. Because the whole thing with Pentaconi is that it's like the land of performances and stuff. And obviously characters are dying left and right, so there's gotta be somebody bad involved. Okay, let's continue. Awesome trailer, I, I'm gonna like that one. I had no idea this even came out. So thank you all for letting me know. You guys are saying, he doesn't know. Okay, so I, I there must be more lore that I'm unaware of. But again, I'm happy to be educated on it. Let us continue. Dude, what a good trailer. All these trailers have been bangers, man. All right, next up, the one everyone's been asking me to watch, we're gonna watch both of these. We're gonna watch the version 2.0 music video, White Knight. And then we're gonna watch the live action dance music video of White Knight. And then we're gonna do Myriad Celestia for Black Swan, who I absolutely love. And then we're gonna finally watch the Black Swan trailer. Okay, so let's do this. Let's watch the original version of White Knight first. Here we go. Let's go. I wish you weren't dead, baby girl. Maybe you can take out Misha, though. Black Swan, baby girl, waifu, let's go. Oh, don't break my heart, come on. Don't break my heart like that, she's dead too. Oh, there is a- that's the cello guy! Woo! Was that Argenti or Himiko in there? Woo! I want to get up and dance with this, man! They didn't have to go this hard! Hey, let's go! Wow, 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 wow! If one dreams of midnight... Wow, let's see the live action version of this. Also, man, oh man. Again, having played through Penacony already, seeing... When we go back to here, let me go back real quick. God, that song's incredible. Seeing this scene with them standing on the balcony overlooking Panacone. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? This part right here. This right here is heartbreaking. Once you've actually played through Panacone, this is heartbreaking, man. I felt, I still, I still can't believe she's dead. I really, I cannot believe it. There was so much death in Panacone. That I just, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it at all. I feel like characters die every once in a while in Genshin, of course. Uh, and apparently, I haven't played Honkai Impact 3rd. I watched all of the uh, story trailers just the other day. You can go check out that video. But apparently, Honkai Impact 3rd kills off a lot more characters than Genshin does or Star Rail even does. But I feel like Star Rail is out for blood. Star Rail's been killing, like, main, major characters. And if it continues down that path, and the cello guy is here, we're in for a good time, man. To be fair, Roger, yeah, Genshin only kills NPCs. To be fair, even with the NPCs, they don't always kill them. Remember the girl from Sumeru? She dies, and then it's like, actually, she's all right. She got out of it. Uh, she's actually only dead in the dream, so maybe her soul got taken by somebody else? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We can hope. But she didn't deserve all that. Man, that was incredible. All right, well, let's watch it again with the live action version. Let's see this. Live action dance music video. Let's see this. Production value on point. Hoyoverse has money, money. R.I.P. Senora. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
oh, Ace, 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 Ace. Before we do this, wait, before we do this, I gotta mention one thing. I see Ace in my chat saying, RIP Senora, no one even remembers her now. Ace, I need you to know. In fact, I'm going full screen for this. I need you to know, okay? Ace, I remember La Senora. I love La Senora. You are not the only one who loves La Senora in Genshin. I wish she would come back one day. She was incredible. Her theme is incredible. Her outfit's incredible. I hope she becomes playable at some point. I don't think they're ever gonna do it, but I'm right there with you, all right? May La Senora rest in peace. We love her, we stand her. Despite the bad things she did, we love her. All right, let us continue. Also, wait, let me do it one more time as well. And Kakolia too. I also love Kakolia. Not as much as La Senora, because we were with her less time, and she's not as hot, <laughs> but I love you, La Senora. Let's continue. Okay, back to this live action dance music video. Let's see this. He's got a materia, okay. Got some flapper girls, all right. I want you to show me the fantasy. No past and no future. That's what I need. What I need. The groove takes it over the way and see. Even I might play out you and me. Let's go. I thought that dream could The production value is insane, man. I feel like they're doing the choreography specific for your TikTok. I feel like there's gonna be people on TikTok doing the choreography. Okay. Other side, other side. Woo! Be alone tonight. I feel like they have to do Flapper Girl things like, hey, hey, you need a chorus line for that, bro. Let's do that again. Hold on. That was fire. All right. Spring two, one. Bro, why is this so clean? Why do they make this so good? Incredible. 10 out of 10. Hoyo verse, you know what you're doing, man. Unbelievable. A certified banger. <sighs> okay, what's up with the materia crumbling? What was that? If one dreams at midnight, bro, that was fire. Absolutely fire. That might just be one of the best songs they've ever produced. And, and Genshin and Honkai and Hoyo, they're known for good music. But that right there, peak, absolute peak. Wow, man, I gotta take this off. I'm too hot now, I'm freaking out, I can't get over that, I love that. Absolutely love that. They cooked. They indeed cooked. They went way too hard, man. I mean, it was incredible. That was, so, am I like, that was so good. For a video game? For a video game. Bruh. Pikachu is what you guys are calling it. Dude, I'm right there with you. Right there with you. Pikachu indeed. All right. Let us continue. This next one is Myriad Celestia trailer, revisiting of past dreams. Okay, let's do this. Medium. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want you to spoil that stuff. Wait a minute, hold on, let's go to the beginning. Why did it click over? A lost item, a thunderous noise, a flicker of internal fire. The torrents and memories swell onward and fill the entire planet. Okay, what do you got for me, Black Swan? 
A dazzling item. Are you looking for its owner? <laughs> I do love her though. Even with the new girls we saw in this, even with Argenti, using your memories as she's still the best. Like she's literally the dream girl. Literally. The memo keeper. What what is this? She's possessing all the billboards? What? Oh my gosh! The jazz theming of Penacone is just right up my alley, man. This is exactly my aesthetic. The little origami birds. I, oh, I love that, that, wait, 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 wait. This outfit of hers? Certified banger. Love this. Absolutely love it. The black and the gold? Hopefully this becomes an outfit that we can order at some point. Love it. Cheers to you. Dance away, girl! Mm. Oh, the way the sax is going in, baby! The truth does not lie. Mm. Neither do memories. Well, sometimes memories do if you watch Boruto. Interesting, all right. There's Ifrit. Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. Oh, yeah, there's the card with Ifrit. Interesting. Oh, and there's Katarina. That's Katarina, isn't it? In the the back? menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on the planet of festivities. festivities. Wow, man. So she knows all. She can read the tarot cards. She knows the future. Ob obviously, she showed up and helped us out when we needed to get helped out. And there was a time there as we were playing through Petaconi where we didn't know whose side she was actually on. But it's really dependent on like how much she's gonna interfere with the future because are things predestined and she doesn't want to change it? I want to know more about her. I can only imagine where they're gonna take Petaconi from here. With the first part of it already being so good, having played through it, I cannot imagine how they can step it up even further. I know they're going to though. Because that was just the introduction. The stuff we already saw in Pentacone was the introduction. Black Swan is goaded. I'm right there with you, Judex. Right there with you. Truthfully, I don't actually trust her in the story, says Strider. I do. I trust her because she's cute. I'm easily won over. <laughs> okay. Now let's see her trailer. Lullaby. Finally, here we go. Now obviously we've already pulled for her. We already got her. We've already raised her up. Mm. <laughs> Doing a siren song at the beginning? Uh, <laughs> what are you afraid of? The Garden of Recollection. Oh, Hello. man. This is just a dreamscape. Life is a winding labyrinth. Ooh. With memory, our soul companion. The, the little woodwinds in there too? The flute that goes up and down? They have to do a Honkai People Star Rail concert at some the point. They have the to. Future. There's too many good tracks. They fail to realize we're all moving toward the past. Memories are different. 
There's more than one destiny to choose from. The road ahead is visible. Open your eyes and face your fears. There we go. <laughs> I'm very familiar with this super. We've used it many a times in the game now. Using her summoning there circle. Might be dead. Oh. Just the fullness of the orchestra coming in there with the heavy drum beats. But fear not. Unless I erase them, you won't forget. Amazing. Oh, nice. Hers is crystallized. I like that, actually. You guys are saying they actually did announce a concert. And by the way, she is so pretty. Oh, you already know she's so pretty. Of course, that's why we love Black Swan. Yeah, they actually announced one for the future. They haven't actually said, they haven't said when it's gonna happen yet though, right? I also think it's so funny that I'm standing here with this baseball bat still, like I'm the trailblazer. W trailer. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I wanna go to the concert. I was lucky enough to actually attend the Genshin concert that was here in LA back in December. It was a lot of fun. I think it was a little too heavy on Mondstadt. The Leeway stuff was incredible. And the Inazuma stuff that they chose with Sumeru was like, it was okay. It was interesting, it could have been better. Um, but I feel like Star Rail, specifically now that we're in Penacone, Penacone can be an entire suite. Like, I think the highlight of seeing the Genshin concert in person was the leeway section. The leeway section was amazing from beginning to end. Zhang Li's character demo, all the different music. I pulled a Chi Chi, like literally everything was great. Um, and I feel like they could do the same kind of thing with Penacone where if you have a live jazz band playing all this stuff and then the full orchestra kicks in and you see Black Swan's trailer in the back and you hear the heavy drum beats, like, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be bumping. All right, let us continue. Now, Sparkle is apparently the last trailer for the day. Also, I'm glad I chose to do this now because look at this, we're an hour into the stream. I wanted to keep this about an hour. This is gonna be longer than an hour because there's other stuff that we have to watch. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's go back. And now, should we watch, what's, what's this? Animated short, Harmony Greets the New Year. Oh, oh, this is the one we, I think we watched on stream before. Okay, so a moment in the stars, Sparkle Trailer and Myriad Celestia. I'm assuming I should watch Myriad Celestia before watching Sparkle. You know what, no, I, I think the idea, no, 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 we're gonna watch this first. We're gonna watch the Myriad Celestia one first and then we're gonna do the Sparkle Trailer. Okay, chat's agreeing with me, that's good. Myriad Celestia first. <laughs> Schoolgirl Sparkle? It doesn't matter who I am off stage. Oh. All the audience needs to know. Is Five seconds in, I'm already like stage. learning more about her character. I'm just Sparkle. So she's putting on a show with all of It's this. you, my beloved mask. Mm. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry, <laughs> you're still smiling. When I'm sad, go oh, cry, Sparkle. You keep on smiling. You're like a veil that I can hide under. Technically, she's already doing that with her Sparkle persona. The one wearing the veil, that's Sparkle. Showing 99. So she is a performer. It's you. My beloved mask. See, I didn't know any of this about her when we were seeing her in the story. You're smiling Whoa. too. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. Dun, when dun, I'm dun, sad, dun, 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 dun. you're crying too. So she's got like, like a split a mirror, personality thing going on here. Then. Showing my reflection. Her true the feelings. In the mirror, that sparkle. Bro, you couldn't it's choose a more you. evil final shot. My beloved mask. When I'm happy, <laughs> you're screaming. When I'm angry, you're crying. Also, all the other masks and the other sad, people. You're smiling. You're like a face staring at me. I, I'm not sparkling. A single tear going down her face. No. I am Sparkle. So, when 
I realized life was just a play, I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. What do you say? <laughs> Who's the real Sparkle? I... Okay. Oh, she doesn't have her own uh, logo. I'm going to stop Sparkle. here real quick. I learned so much more about her as a character from watching this trailer than I did from literally playing through the story of Penacony. She's nuts. <laughs> she actually... I love her little dog in this scene, though. That's actually really cute. I feel like... <sighs> I don't know, obviously. Like, I'm reacting to this before we get to her full story played out in Honkai Star Rail. I almost feel like she's going to have a really tragic past where she was, like, picked on as a kid. Because you see her initially with the school girl outfit, and then she's talking about how she puts on the mask, and then she feels different feelings, but the mask is always happy. And, like, which one is the real sparkle? She's, like, sort of half Joker, where she's trying to cause chaos but also is doing it to mask her own insecurities and is doing it to, I don't like mask her true self, which maybe she's not happy with. That's basically her pretending to be all the characters. And that's actually not what it was at all. She was an orphan. She's playing different roles in each of these screens. I think it's mostly going to be a call out to idol culture being obsessive. So do you guys think she's going to stay bad or no? Because she seemed like she was bad towards the end of what we played of Penacony. My chat is split. Some people are saying maybe she's just lying. She's an actor in her own life. Half the other chat is saying, oh yeah, I hope so. You could also notice there's a Herta sparkle at the right TV. Oh, that, that is oh that is meant to be Herta. I saw the dog. I, oh. So she could take... Well, we know that she could become other people. This is... Hmm... She's 100% going to keep being bad. Make sure to watch the trailer. She's a fool. She has no moral compass. She does what she feels like doing and follows the elation path. So whatever makes her happy. I think we also might be reading into it too much, says Joe. She seems like an enlightened... Um, enlightened... So I, don't, I don't see the rest of the message, but something she's just trolling is what I saw afterwards. Interesting. She definitely has some screw loose for sure. I think she's more chaotic evil than chaotic neutral. My chat is all going in different directions. So clearly many of you are just as confused about Sparkle as a character as I am then. She's essentially the villain of this stage, but we don't know how she's going to act on the other stages. She basically picked up Itachi Skenjutsu and she chose her own role. Once you watch her last story trailer, it will all make sense. Hmm. Yeah, I also kind of agree with Jaden in my chat saying that if you watch... Um, it kind of feels like she's forgetting who she really is since she's always playing all these other roles. Yeah, so when she asks who is the real Sparkle, it's almost not even like she's asking that to us. She's asking that to herself. Like, who is the real Sparkle? Who should I actually be? I feel like, though, her trailer with the single tear and with the confusing of herself tells me that at some point she is going to be redeemed. At some point, she's not just going to be this chaotic character running around causing mischief. That in actuality, once she discovers her true self, she'll be okay. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> Amir said it so perfectly, saying, the real sparkle was the friends who made her along the way. Absolutely. All right, let's watch her trailer now. Sparkle trailer monodrama. And then a moment among the stars. So she's got two story trailers. Okay. Let's see this. <laughs> got the rainbow puppet strings and the bullets. See, she's horrifying. Like, I'm more scared of Sparkle than I am a lot of other characters in Honkai. <laughs> What's your wager? Playing Russian roulette with herself? 
Oh, whoa, I love the stickula! Bro, Looks persona! Like so what? Let me tell you what the foolishness is. You're to be smart like you do. You better be careful, because one of those is gonna be what a lead bullet. Fool? Knowing when to act clueless. Like I do. Knowing when to act clueless. Do you actually do know, you though? Now? What is elation? Me. Whoa! Fully psychedelic! My chat going, I can fix her. I don't think you can. I'm sticking to Black Swan. You stay away from me, Scornful. I want no part of this at all. Hold me, I'm scared. Did it work that time? Oh, 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 That hits. The single, the single whistle, as the logo comes in and you see her flowers around it. <laughs> what are they doing with this character, man? The Harley Quinn of the Hoyoverse. Yeah, she's like holding the dead body of her other self. <laughs> Were you scared just now? Yes, I was. Keep away from me. A moment among the stars sparkling tricks. So this is the other one we have to watch then. What is going on here? A moment among the stars. Okay. There's the world's just, just like a to big non-stop circus showcasing beasts crawling all day and night. Bears on unicycles, lions leaping through fire hoops, monkeys juggling bulls. Me, I'm happy being a side character in the background, cheering on those who have the limelight. Then at the climax of the performance, bang! Sparkling like fireworks into brilliant colors. Burning down all of Penacony? You think the leading character would dare do this? I think the leading villain would. If you're the main antagonist, I think she would. She's essentially Hoyo's new favorite character. They gave her three. She reminds me so much of Jinx. What is this? Epic version sparkle theme extended. Let's hear this. I gotta hear this. Just a little teaser. This isn't official, but I want to hear this from TNB. Mm. Ooh. Add some extra vocals to it. <laughs> I'm vibing out! Dude, again, the Panacone music is just so good! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. like a Valorant theme, doesn't it? Oh, oh. I am evil. Do you think you can fix me, dude? Man, oh man. We're gonna, we're gonna stop it here. I don't want to watch the full version. That is quite good, though. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Make sure to watch the Chinese version of Monodrama. Okay, let's watch it, let's go. Uh, how do I watch that version? Is it just on the same? Let's see, Monodrama, this is Sparkle trailer. Closed captions, do you do a uh, different voice? Subtitles, English. 
let's see, CN version, search it up. Uh, all language versus pro. Look at all these reaction mashups. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm not seeing this version. I'm. Oh, here we go. All language. Is it time stamped? Chinese. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, the Russian roulette thing is really quite wild. Look, the more times I get to hear this music, the better. So far, not too different. I'm assuming it's when she actually starts talking. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, I like the way they did her character too. Bleh. Wait, why did they cut the bleh from the other trailer? See, there's, there's something going on with her. Why is she killing her other self? I really, I just can't get over the visuals. The visuals, my whole chat's going bleh. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. Incredible, man. Her laugh is also really good in this version. I didn't even realize the gun on top of the turkey the first time that I watched this, too. <laughs> okay. Wow. Definitely make sure once you're playing to try focusing on the mask because it's different from each sparkle. Would you say this is the best trailer, Roger? Look, I mean, we've gone through all of them now. The ones today, without looking back at the list, that immediately stand out where I'm like, these are incredible, would be the Myriad Celestia Black Swan one. That one was awesome. Seeing her going through all the different billboards and stuff, getting to see my favorite girl in action, that one was great. Every single Sparkle trailer. Who, if you've watched my Pentacony playthrough, I didn't even really like the character all that much. I was like, she's weird, I don't want to deal with her. Now I'm intrigued. Now I want nothing but Sparkle story stuff. I feel like she's going to be really, 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 really good in the story. Like, I mean, her story is going to be good. Not necessarily that her character is going to be good. So all the Sparkle trailers, I think, are right up there. Obviously, White Knight. White Knight is incredible. It got me up and dancing the entire time. I was having a blast with that. Really, really good stuff. I would say those three. And then Argenti. You can't forget Argenti. Argenti was the first one that made me stop and go, wait, wait a minute. Who is this character? I haven't seen this character before. I love the whole rose aesthetic. The stuff with the flowers. Also, Ranmai. There was a lot of good stuff now that I'm thinking about it. Man, I'm glad that I saved all of these specifically for one big, long reaction video. Because... Even though there were really only like six or seven new characters versus the last time we did this, each of these characters had way more depth to them, it seemed like. And I also feel like because I played through Pentacony, I was able to understand more. Also, that trailer with like the new Fatui with Ifrit and with Katarina was incredible. Dr. Ratios was great as well with the bubble bath. They don't miss, honestly. And even characters like Huo Huo and Topaz that I already know that I loved, I think their trailers were good. Overall, this was amazing. I'm glad we sat down and did this today. This was really, really a lot of fun. Obviously, if you guys want to see the first part of my watch through of all the character trailers, which again was prior to when I started Star Rail, it was either prior to or right when we started, one of the two, make sure to watch those. Those are a separate video. They're linked outside of this. I, I think I need to splice out my White Knight reaction and have that as its own standalone thing. Or the Sparkle one as well. I may have to do like two different shorts. They're just so good. 
I think next time what we're going to do when we do one of these reaction compilations, we're going to save it for like five or six more characters. But then I think the other thing that we're going to do, I think I'm going to go back now that I've watched these and watch all of the other Myriad Celestia trailers as well. Because I know we watched some of them during the first one, but I feel like now that I know these exist and how well they're animated and how good the music is, I should go back and watch those. That's what I, that's what I have to say about that. Let me go back one more time real quick. Let's see if there's anything else that we're missing. We got our keeping up with Star Rail thing. I almost want to wait and hold off on that until we actually play with her in the game. It seems like that is it now. I think we're good. So we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you all once again for watching today. Greatly appreciate it. Of course, I'll be back with more Honkai content in the near future. But currently I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't upload any of the Rebirth stuff to the channel just yet. Because I know a lot of people are playing through that. Heavy spoiler spo uh, story spoilers. I don't want to do that. I don't want to spoil people on Final Fantasy. I'm playing it on Twitch. I'm uploading those VODs to my VOD channel. And then in about a week or two, once people have played through it, I'll probably start uploading individual reactions from that. But overall, man, great way to spend my morning. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all, by the way, for giving me more information on the lore, for recommending me other videos. This is why I do these lives. All right, so thank you once again, everybody. And until next time, blah, blah. Who's the real Roger? <laughs>